Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I've got to give a shout out to the, um, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Chainsaw. This is an amazing tool. This one's like new and the reason is it's another one. I have one um, and I was using it all weekend um, in snow, in the rain. Um, I was clogging it up, I was pinching the blade. We were doing a lot of uh, limbing and some bucking and and um, you know, doing some management of uh, downfall that happened over the winter and storms um, to reduce the fire load, especially anything under about four feet high on the forest floor. And I used it hard. We, I was running um, mostly the, uh, the nine amp hour batteries. You can run 12s in them, but then you're carrying so much more weight um, inside the battery compartment. Um, while you're using it and a lot of the stuff you know was crazy angles and and everything was slippery and wet and um i probably should have run an even lighter battery um the six works in it as well you just don't get the runtime. um but anyway this thing is amazing um and now yes it is a plastic chainsaw we also were running a still and a Husqvarna, both with 20 inch bars. This one's a 16 inch bar. Um, it also runs a thinner chain. Um, the chains for this are 0 0.043 inches in um, thickness versus um, the uh, uh, one that I'm running on, like on my still, um, which this one I think is 0.5 inches width. Um, and what happens is, or 0.63, excuse me, on this one right there. Um, what happens is you end up, uh, you know, cutting a, th a thinner line. So it is a little bit easier to pinch, but, um, as far as strength, um, as far as operation operations, these things are, are tremendous. Um, you can literally cut through about anything, almost the size, if you're careful and, you know, give it a little time, the size of the bar. Um, but for anything, half the size of the bar, um, it's just, it's a rock star. Um, it really does work. And, you know, for a plastic battery powered chainsaw, it's kind of amazing. Um, in fact, there were times I had so much uh, like spruce or fir um, needles wedged into this that I just clogged it up a couple of times. I actually knocked the chain off. Um, and it's a simple fix. In fact, I had to go in and clean it out a few times. Um, underneath here, um, in this this little pocket, you put the bar guard on. Um, in this little pocket here is a wrench, and usually I'd have to get a branch or something to wedge in there, I'm just using the socket here, or I mean an extension. So you get this uh, little tool with it, which actually comes in handy for both tensioning the, um, tensioning the saw, um, or the, uh, the chain um, just by turning this back and forth if it loosens up, but also for pulling it apart. Let me crack these loose and show you what's on the inside of here. Um, and basically this, I'd be pulling this out in the field even though everything, you know, my gloves and this whole inside is all covered in, in bar oil. Um, but basically you can see, here's how this thing works. Um, this is the, the drive motor. I think it's direct drive right here. Um, and then this just is, a, is a, a little screw mounted part that slides this back and forth, adjusting the tension. Um, if you back it all the way off, you can actually pop the whole bar and blade off. Um, and that's what I had to do a few times um, in order to clean it out. Um, this would just get so covered with uh, with needles and and occasionally you'd get like moss and other stuff that would just get sucked in um, As the chain wrapped around and you'd have to dig it all out um, But otherwise it's a pretty simple system. Um, not a lot going on here. These are nice and sharp um, so when you're driving the uh, body of the chainsaw up against your your um, Workpiece so you know to get get a good cutting you can do that. It's got a stop here um, This is designed um, you pull it forward, small little hand area um, when you're operating it, but if the saw kicks back, it probably will cause this thing to fly back um, or fly away from you, which will shut the saw down immediately. Um, the start and stop on these things is, is, is so nice because it's all peace and quiet. Turn it on, do your saw, it goes back to peace and quiet, and you don't mind 
um, just setting it down and doing some other work. Whereas a gas chainsaw, um, because it's always running or you have to shut it down and restart it by pulling the cord, um, it just changes the way you do things. Um, I've had no trouble with it whatsoever. I, I mean, literally when I was using it, it was soaking wet. There was snow inside here. Um, you know, the battery you had to brush off all the debris and dirt and crap from sitting around before dropping it in. And it still just kept going and going and going. I used it a lot last fall and I was able to get, uh, you know, a lot of firewood cut. Um, but this is the first time I've really put it through some hostile conditions. Um, and it, it performed flawlessly. Let's see if it holds up. Um, they are a little bit heavy. Um, and kind of pricey, you know, if you were looking for a, um, a gas saw, um, and that's because to get a good battery, it's about 200 bucks for a good battery. And then these things were, um, I think around $300 is what they're selling for. Um, but super, super good design. Um, I actually, um, have two of these now, um, and I probably will explore. They've got a new, new one with, a. I can't remember how long the blade, six inch blade, 10 inch blade or something, a little tiny guy that runs on the M12 system. Um, and if it's anywhere as good as this for, for small work, I might check one of those out. And I also will probably have this in my truck um, on some overlanding adventures when, you know, we're exploring some roads where it's not uncommon to have downfall. Um, can use an ax, could bring a gas one, but the gas ones, I mean, they're smelly, they're loud. Um, they leak oil like crazy. This one isn't too bad. It does leak, I mean, like any chainsaw. Even though it self-oils, it, it, um, it, it can get messy. But, boy, it, you know, I hope that's a testament. I have one. I pushed it hard. What did I do? I went and I got another. So now we can have two people working. Of course, all the same safety measures need to be in place. You need chaps. You need gloves. You, need, you should have hearing protection if you're working close to this at all. Um, you know, they're definitely not as loud as a, uh, um, a gas chainsaw, um, but certainly, um, it's sustained. It's a, it's a loud sustained noise. Um, but there's no off gassing. There's no exhaust. And as you know, how stinky, you know, chainsaws can be in those two cycle engines. Um, the other thing that is pretty amazing about it, um, is the more I use it, the more I realize I can do some pretty fine work with it. Um, and because it's, it's not gas, you don't mind doing that. And that's taking off little branches, making smaller cuts. Um, you just, it just changes things a little bit. Um, but anyway, so that's my shout out to this Milwaukee chainsaw. Um, they nailed it. I would have no hesitation recommending one of these things. Um, and I hope buying two of them, you know, is enough of a sales pitch to say um, I, they got it right. Um, I, there's always room for improvement and to make it lighter, but um, after this weekend of working with it in such crazy conditions, um, I'm sold. And with that, Doc out.